to Nerd Weekly's Aftertaste, where we get to taste a couple of things and give you the aftertaste. Tell you what we think about how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I've got a hair in my mouth. <clears throat> We've got the thing, dragon, <laughs> and Maya. You don't do the yelling anymore. What happened to it? Maya. Maya. I, okay. <laughs> And you know, sometimes I'd really like it if we could all in harmony do the Maya. Be like, Maya. 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 Something like that. Maya. <laughs> 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 all right. So this week's segment is going to be on Batman v Superman, okay? Yeah. The movie and just the subject in general, all right? So I actually don't want to go into the movie first. I want to go into the subject first, okay? Your opinion, Grant, who would win, Batman or Superman? Okay. I can't say Superman, and you don't need to hold on to the microphone, by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> but I can't say Superman now because I have received more and more knowledge in the past couple weeks from AI. <laughs> also course. from YouTube, and I actually watched um, some death battles. And it's been giving me so much information. Uh, basically, Batman will prepare to take on Superman. And so he essentially knows how to do it. Even though Superman does... He's, he's strong, but that doesn't mean Batman can't defeat him. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, I can't say that Superman would be able to win in a fight. All right. What about you? It's always been Batman wins. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Batman always wins. <clears throat> Batman Just... always wins. Any reasoning behind it, like... Well, I mean, yeah, if you look at the, if you read any of the comics and you watch any of the, the animes that they have, where Bat it's Batman versus Superman, Batman always wipes the floor with Superman. <laughs> because Superman's too cocky. That's the thing, is Superman gets way too cocky, and Batman knows this, and he takes advantage of it. And he just completely smacks him down a couple of notches and says, "Wake up, dude! You're you're in a human world. You're a god in a human world." Yeah, it, he, yeah. yeah. Superman keeps going back into like the god complex, which really sucks. And then to, Batman comes along and goes, "Um, all we have to do is go a couple of light years that way, and you're." as normal as we are. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. If you put in perspective, if I were to go into a different world that had a different light, um, air... The, yeah, the, the sun was different. All yeah. of the things that make <clears throat> Superman special, I mean, could essentially do do the same thing to us. I mean, if you look at, side note, um, the John Carter... Yeah. Oh, yeah. John Carter. If you look yes, at John exactly. Carter... You look at that... Um, it's a reverse the... Superman, where instead of, like, instead of, like, he's from Earth, and he goes down to Mars, and since Mars' is gravity is <clears throat> yeah. way less, yeah. he can jump super high yeah. and have he's... over strength. Yeah. yeah, if you were to try and explain Superman's strength to someone, you'd say, go watch John Carter, because it's essentially almost the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. So Well, and, and it is a proven theory, too, because if we... Any human were to go to a different planet, either we would be really weaker mm -hmm. or we would be really strong, like Superman. Yeah. So are you saying that if someone was born on Mars later on and came to Earth, it would be different feeling for them? Mm -hmm. Pretty they, much. They, the gravity, because the gravity on, on Earth is so much more than the gravity on Mars yeah. that... They they wouldn't have as much strength mm -hmm. as people who were born on yeah. Earth, but they could get you. They would essentially get used to um, our atmosphere and our um, and our how our gravity works. So yeah, so let's uh, take it back to the main segment: Batman versus Superman. Who's excited for the movie? Oh, I am. Of it's course. gonna be great. Although we have to wait a year, but of course, nonetheless, it. I mean, trailer looks good. I, I'm excited for it because of like what we saw so far. And they finally put Wonder Woman into the new trailer. I am yeah. surprised they didn't put Aquaman in it too. I'm I'm wondering if because this is trailer two, I'm betting that they're gonna do a third trailer, but the third trailer is gonna have 
um, kind of do the same thing as season two, but have like Superman's point of view with Aquaman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That could be good. You know. Right now, it's with Batman's point of view on w- what Superman did. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, for good reasoning, he's pissed off. Yeah. I well, mean, everybody's pissed off for a <clears throat> very good reason. Right. Yeah, like all of Metropolis is completely destroyed. And, you know, Superman didn't bring this threat. Like, he wasn't he wasn't the one responsible for it. But, of course, who else are they going to blame? Yeah. Well, he so. helped cause most of the damage. Yeah, he could have... He could have easily avoided it, but he didn't. He chose not to. Yeah, he could have flown someplace else. He could have gone someplace else. I mean, for God's sakes, they live right next to the ocean. <laughs> well, Goku and... When he was fighting, he'd always say, let's not do this in the city. Let's go out into the fields and fight. Mm-hmm. And sure yeah. enough, whoever he was fighting would agree on it. It's like, oh, of course. It's but like even leave. if they didn't agree on it, it's just like you just fly over it and you're just like, the fight's over here. Yeah. And that's it. You know? Yeah. Pretty much. Make, make, because we do know that Zod wanted to destroy him. So if Superman would have easily like flown out to like some deserted island, you know, or, you know, outside of the city area that would have saved everything. Exactly. But, Just and like, Batman actually does that. He tries and avoids. Yeah. At trying to fight in the cities. Well, he, the populated areas as much as possible. And he, and I think that's going to be one of the biggest things. Like, uh, for, for uh, Ben Affleck, like, being Batman is a completely separate character. And he's totally capable of pulling it off. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally capable. Yeah. The only the only thing that Galen or AI has a problem with is is he going to be vengeful and just want to destroy Superman? Or <clears throat> is he going to sit there and just take him down a couple of notches? So in the trailer it states, I will destroy you. Do you think that that's taken out of context? Very, very be. much so. It's gotta be. It's gotta be way t- taken way out of context. I mean that Something like that is probably going to be said in the heat of the battle, mm-hmm. like, like, uh, like a death threat, a threat in the middle of the battle, um, and yeah. And then Alfred said he is not our enemy, and I think that is completely taken out of context by AI. The only reason I say that is because right now Bruce Wayne is only Batman is only thinking of one thing. Metropolis got freaking destroyed. Yeah. Leveled. Leveled. Okay. It has been leveled. I mean, they literally have to rebuild the city. And, and he he looked at the damage. He looked at this god sitting there, had no regard for human right, human life in general. Just like if he was really that good of a person, would he have, wouldn't he have sat there and just thought, this is a global effect like this yeah the destruction level like it's, according according to this movie statistic the amount of damage and destruction that they made it seem like inside the movie yeah. would have actually killed like over two million people the amount of damage Jeez. okay that's well and they, nobody has time to get out in a in that. in that kind of a fight. Yeah. Well, and if you look at it, because... So you've got Metropolis, and you've got Gotham, which is really close to it. But also, you've got Sterling City and... Um, Starling City. Starling City and... Um, what is the other place? Flash. Oh, gosh. What is that place called? Is it not... Oh, crap. Uh, it's not Starling City. Because that's, yeah, that's, that's Arrow's territory. it's not Star City. No, um, it is. Co- um, is it coast? No, no. That that's also there as well. That's close by. Oh, um, coast it. city is close. Um, but yeah, because there, because I think in if you think geographically, um, Gotham, Central and, City, Central, Central city. city, that's it. Um, Gotham. Thanks, Google God. Google Thank you, God. GG. GG wins. GG wins. <laughs> yeah, because I, I I think if we look at like the geographical map. Gotham and Metropolis are kind of like more north and then further down like south of that is Starling and Central. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, yeah. And I mean, it like the damage would get all the way down there as well. So it would affect, I mean, at that point, it takes an effect to like all the areas that the Justice League covers. Yep. In, yeah. in the, well, I think of it like the New England area. Like, mm-hmm. So. It, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like the difference between California and sorry uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco not San Francisco uh, s- gosh San Andreas well, well yeah it's kind of getting more into like Boston and New York and like Maine that it, it's more like <clears throat> geographical d- geographically those areas oh yeah like that stretch of land yeah so. But before we go on more of a tangent, because we're probably uh, out of time by by now, but all right, I just wanted to say one thing, okay? A lot of people say there's no way that Batman could beat Superman, okay? There's absolutely no way. It's a god versus a man. That's it. It doesn't matter how smart you are. That's it, all right? One thing I want to be able to point out is that let's just let's just make the playing field for this, okay? Okay. The playing field is death battle, total uh-huh. death battle. Yeah. All right. Prep time. Both of them get prep time. Okay. Okay. All right. And they keep their same personality and knowledge of each other. All right. All right. How would you think Batman would do it? How would he prepare? How would he actually kill Superman? I don't even know. I don't have any idea. What I can only think? guess. Of how he would do it. Something. (laughs) um, Probably something with um, kryptonite. It's the only way I see it. Something using. Some way using kryptonite to weaken him enough that he could do real physical damage. Especially if he was able to make him brain dead. See, you gotta think of it this way, okay? Everybody says he can lobotomize him, mm-hmm. okay? From space. Mm-hmm. Yep. He can lobotomize Batman from space. Mm-hmm. So, how does he kill Superman before the fight even begins? Um, he well, okay. Doesn't he get his like powers from the sun? He does. Yeah. So maybe he could find a way to make it so that there is no sun for a little bit of time. Everybody sits there and looks at the obvious weaknesses of Superman, which is kryptonite, we sun. Had... But the problem that you're, you're facing is that the Earth is also his weakness. Look at the gravity. Maybe get him underground? No. no. Not even? No. no. I'm talking about the people of Earth in general. Okay, mm-hmm. Batman. He's not able. He's not capable of killing anybody. Okay, but he is capable of winning battles, the best way possible. Mm-hmm. So inside Apocalypse, this is a canon. I believe it's canon material. Inside of the movie Apocalypse, what mm-hmm. he does is he activates hell spores. Mm-hmm. Inside of Apocalypse, okay, he goes up to Apocalypse and just says. It's over, Apocalypse. It's done. Even you know the folly of uh, being a god without a kingdom. And he's and he says, I don't think that the Kryptonians will deal that much damage. And Batman says, I'm not talking about the uh, the uh, Kryptonians. I'm talking about the Hellspores. They've mm-hmm. been activated. Mm-hmm. And he says, impossible. There's no way that it, those would be activated. And he repeats back the code, Omega nine seven whatever. Yeah. And he's like, does that sound like a bluff to you? And Apocalypse says, you dare? You dare go against me? And he smacks him into the wall. And Apocalypse says, I can kill you with one Omega Beam. And he's like, you could, but that wouldn't stop the Hell Spores. Yeah. It's he, true. So, imagine the same scenario, but with Earth Ransom. So you're saying that Batman would actually take Earth ransom against Superman? Yep. Yep. I would see... He would. He would do it. Because Apocalypse said, well played. If the Kryptonian had ever done a gamble like that, he would have lost. But you, a human, you would sacrifice your own kind to win battles. 
so of cool. admirable quality. Very, nobody realizes that that is how low Superman, <laughs> that's how like deep he would go. If he grabbed a bunch of hell spores, encoded like pretty much liquid encoded them into iron, to which he Superman can't see, put even half of them into the Earth's surface, and then blew one up in front of Superman. Then he just throws a kryptonite gun and says, you've got 60 seconds to decide on whether to kill yourself or kill me and have the rest of the planet destroyed. Your choice. Okay? Here's and, your options. And then, he, and then he says, and he's, he's just like, you're bluffing, dude. You wouldn't kill, you. <laughs> you wouldn't kill the entire human race just to win this. And he'd be, and on, all of a sudden, bloop, and blow up a hell spore like right outside of the Earth's surface, just yeah. right there. And then Batman like, would do that. And he's like, "Is that a bluff to you? Is that really a bluff to you?" Because of the characters of each person, Superman would kill himself because yeah. he can't, he can't lay that on his conscience. Yeah. And he knows Batman wouldn't be bluffing too. Right. He knows it. So, even if a death battle were to happen with their same personality, that is how he would win. Yeah. That is how Batman would win, period. No fight <coughs> necessary. Doesn't matter how powerful you are. You just tell him to kill himself or the rest of the earth dies. Yeah. No matter how fast you are, you can't find all the hell spores. Not he, before he... Because he, he's probably got... He has the main detonator, detonator but you destroy that one... Batman's smart enough to have a, a second and a third and a fourth he has a detonator timer. that when the other one destroys, that one goes off. Exactly. Yeah. He has a timer. And he's just like, it's encrypted to my voice. It's encrypted to whatever. I've got a code inside my head. Whatever. Yeah. All right? Superman and can't read minds. Superman can't read minds. He can go through a code very fast, but if it's wrong three times, then that's it. Yeah. You know? Essentially. So you take it. No matter what, in any way, shape, or form, he can't win. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter how strong you are. And that's the argument that everybody says. Death battle. Okay, Batman would sit there and get inside an, uh, of an armored suit. That's pointless. If Batman's Batman, smarter than that. If yeah. Batman really, that's the thing. If Batman really wanted to, he would throw him a gun and say, kill yourself. He's that smart. Yeah. And I'm saying it right now. That is how... He did it to Apocalypse. He would do it to Superman. Oh, and Apocalypse a is way smarter than Superman and way stronger than Superman. Okay? And way more intimidating than Superman, too. Exactly. Yeah, and, and that... I mean, that's... that's doesn't one matter how freaking powerful you are. You can go ahead and lobotomize Super Batman from space. Yeah. Whatever. But that wouldn't save the entire Earth because that's the characteristic that Batman is. If he needs something done, he will go to any length to get it done. Right. And, and that's that's one of the one things that makes that I love about Batman versus all the the rest of the superheroes. Okay. Well, even um, Green Arrow to some extent because Green Arrow helps Batman so often with these plans too. Oh yeah. He you know they they team up and. Because, I mean, essentially, if you look at it, Green Arrow and Batman are ants next to humans. With the re even next to Barry Allen too. Yeah, Barry Allen. He, he especially used to be with human, but. he used to be human. Now he's super fast and he's got super speed and all everything else. But like they literally would sit there and do everything and look at every option yeah. and go, okay. Well, and honestly, Batman's got to have, like... Several. Several bombs and stuff yeah. already just scattered throughout the world. <clears throat> and all he has to do is type in a certain code, and they all activate. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, in the movie of Superman, like Man of Steel, um, you know, they're in Metropolis, of course, when yeah. they fight. And um, Bruce Wayne is there in Metropolis. He's originally from Gotham, so my question is... What specifically is he doing in Metropolis during that time? Is well, you he have on a to remember, Wayne, yeah, Wheaton Enterprises has a a building 
in Metropolis, and I think he ends up having buildings in um, Central City and Starling City as well. Wayne like he's is everywhere. Yeah, Wayne Enterprise is yeah, Wayne is everywhere. He has like probably one of the biggest buildings. Okay. One of the biggest companies out of everybody, and like he's got, he's got companies in every city that okay. the main superheroes live in. All right, so basically he just so happens, so he basically just happens to be on a business at one of his business trips. Buildings. Business trips. All right, I think we're out of time. Uh, how oh, much? Yeah. How much should we go? We're at twenty three minutes. Wow. But I hear the last thing. Yes, the trailers have come out, but again. You have to wait till the movie comes out because so much of that trailer was taken out of context and it it brings up like a bazillion questions. So you just have to wait till yeah. the yeah. movie comes out. We, or, already made, we already made a pact. Right. It's still over. It's, it's done. It's over. All judgments, especially in Suicide Squad, like all judgments will be held until the movie. Yeah. I mean, sucker. Let's look at Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch looked so good in the trailers and was terrible, terrible. Like you remember Sucker Punch? Oh yeah, I remember it. I, I mean, the <laughs> it was weird how it ended, but right. But the thing is, like, spoiler alert. <laughs> whatever. But with that movie, it's like there were three. It was like three different parts to the movie, and. Well, reality. So part one and part two just were terrible. But once you got into like part three, mm. like the actual like cool stuff, like it was fine. So if you just did that part of the movie, Sucker Punch is a great movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's because they have um, segments one and two that you're just like. Yeah. I hate this movie. Anyways, <laughs> let's call it. Let's yep, call that's it. it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This Bye. is Aftertaste. Aftertaste. Bye. Bye. Okay. This is Sparta. This is Nerd Week, bro. This is Nerd Week. Not this Sparta. is Sparta. No, this is a knife. This is Spar- uh, Nerd Week. This is not a knife. That is a short blade. You're a short blade. Dragon. Take that. Dragon. <laughs> I'll stab you with this. Thanks for watching, you guys. This week's Nerd Week podcast. Please uh, like and subscribe our videos and channels because we got more videos coming out. Check out all of our old videos and check out everything that we've done before. We got our Twitter pages up right here. Yay, on the bottom. Instagram, check us out on Instagram. We post up pictures all the time. Yay. 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 By the way, this is Maya. I'm the thing. I'm the dragon. Maya. <laughs> Maya. A bibbidi bobbidi. Maya! <laughs> <laughs> it was actually loaded. I didn't even know that. That was great. It is loaded. I left it. Don't pull it at your face. <laughs> not cool. Maya. <laughs> You'll poke your eye out. Maya. <laughs> dragon. Thing. Maya. Thing. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.